hey guys what's going on it's your boy cutty dropping another video for you guys here today so what i have here is a splitter i got this on amazon for a really cheap price and i decided to install it on my nissan ultima and also the splitter is universal so you can install it on any other car brand that you have and to do this project i do need my drill that i have here and i also need a drill a bit and this right here is just to make hole on my splitter and i'm also gonna need some screws here to screw my splitter onto my bumper it's a really easy project easy job to do and i also have these extra screws here just in case i need it to make my uh, my splitter secure on my bumper and i also have this nine millimeter bolt and they will go right here on that spot all i'm gonna do is just make a hole underneath the splitter in the middle right here and all it does is just securing my splitter onto my bumper again I'm doing everything I can to make sure that my splitter is secure. Alright, uh, before I do this project though, I do need to spray paint my splitter. And to do that, I got my glossy crystal clear spray. And I also have my duplicate color perfect match all black. Just to match the splitter color. And to make it darker than it looks right now because it's pretty plain. So let's start off with this project. And before I do this project, while I make the hole for the boat, I just want to let you guys know I never did this before this is my first time actually doing this installation on a splitter I have no knowledge on how to do it I just follow some instruction and trying to duplicate that instruction and making it my own and it's gonna be very easy for real and also I'm gonna save money and I won't have to ask anybody else to do it for me and the whole point of this video is to help you guys too to be confident that you can do it on your own and it's pretty fun so you won't have to spend money and have somebody else do it for you. Alright guys, so I'm going to make the hole for the boats. And after that, we can go on and make some more holes. Okay guys, so now that I made the holes for my bolts, now I'm gonna make some more holes here on the side of the splitter, and I'm gonna make them really small. And this, those holes will be where the screws is gonna go. I'm just making my holes now because I wanna be able to know exactly where my screws is gonna go once I go underneath the bumper. A really easy way for me to locate my screws and know where exactly where I'm screwing at. All right, so I'm gonna make those small holes, and after that, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I'm gonna do next. Alright so I'm in the basement right now and I just finished making the holes on my splitter as you guys can see I'm pretty much done here with the holes. Now what I gotta do is spray paint my uh, splitter and I'm doing it in the basement right now because it's raining outside and once the rain stops I'm gonna go back outside and finish up with the spray paint job. Alright so now I got my crystal clear glossy spray. All I'm gonna do is just spray that first on the splitter just to give it a little bit of a glossy look at first and then I'm gonna let it sit there for about 20 minutes let it dry off and then after that I'm gonna go ahead and take my duplicate perfect match color and spray that on my spirit as well and let that one sit also and let it dry off all right so right now that's what I'm doing and I'm gonna get that one out the way and while I'm doing this please go ahead and wear a face mask protect your face make sure you don't breathe this uh, smell of the spray is pretty strong and you do not want to get sick down the road because it does have chemicals and you don't want to breathe that into your system alright guys let me go ahead and finish up with the spray paint okay so now I'm back outside and we can actually finish up with the spray paint all I gotta do is just spray my perfect typical uh, perfect match color on my splitter and let it let it sit there for an hour let it dry off completely and right now I'm pretty happy about how my paint job is coming along it looks pretty good so I'm just gonna go ahead and finish that up real quick and after that we can start up with the installation
Alright guys, so I am outside and today I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the installation of my splitter and it's right here looking pretty brand new and I got one jack stand here. I don't know why I only bought one. I should have bought two but it's okay. I'm gonna use whatever I have and I got this hammer here to help me out. It's a secondary jack stand and um, I got this um, car jack here that I'm gonna use to lift the car up a little bit so my whole body can go on to lift the car to be comfortable while I screw my split onto my bumper. I gotta make sure I get all the tools out and ready. I'm gonna get my drill out and I'm gonna go ahead and get my uh, screw out as well. So everything is good, is ready to, and set up. I can go ahead and start up with this installation. So before I do so, I just wanna show you guys one more time my splitter. Like I said, this is the first time I ever did a spray paint job on the splitter and it looks pretty good right now. I'm very happy with the job that I did. Um, and it's free. I did it for free. Alright guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and lift the car up right now and then we can go on from there. Alright, so I'm done lifting the car up high enough for my whole body to actually fit underneath the car. All I gotta do now is just put my splitter underneath the bumper, use my jack stand and my hammer on each corner of the splitter, make sure that it holds my splitter tight against my bumper. So let's go ahead and do that and we can go ahead and start off with the screwing. Alright, so now that I have my jack stand and my hammer holding the splitter onto the bumper, all I gotta do is make sure that I go underneath the bumper and just screw my splitter onto the bumper. And um, my jack stand and my hammer are doing a really great job right now holding it for me so it won't drop while I start doing my screwing. So let's go underneath the car and start screwing from the right to the left or from the left to the right, don't matter which side you pick. So let's go ahead and start off with the scrolling. Alright guys, so I'm pretty much done here with screwing both sides of the splitter and as you guys can see it looks pretty good. Now all I gotta do is start off with the middle and to do that I need to make a secondary hole that's gonna come out of the bumper and to do that I gotta follow the hole for my bolt that I already did at the house. Just follow that same hole to make that secondary hole that's gonna come out of the bumper. So after I make that hole I just gotta take my bolt push it into the splitter and make sure that it comes out of the bumper and then take my bowl knot and screw it make sure that it's tight and secure on my bumper again it's really easy all I gotta do is just follow that same hole and make that secondary hole and we can go on from there so let's go ahead and make that hole real quick and then we can go on with the screwing again
all right guys so all i gotta do now is take my bolt make sure that i push it to the splitter and make sure that the bolts come out of the bumper all right so that's what i gotta do now so let's go ahead and push that in and go on All right, now that my bolt is pushed in and you can see it out of the bumper, all I gotta do is take my bolt knot, connect it to the bolt, and twist it to tighten up my splitter to my bumper. After that, we're done. Okay, so my installation is completed. My splitter is on my bumper. All I'm doing right now is just double checking and make sure that it is secured on my bumper. It looks good right now. I'm gonna go ahead and check the other side too, just to make sure that it is secured as well. And it looks good too. Now let's go underneath the car so I can show you that I did screw my splitter onto my bumper. And I also have my two bolts securing my splitter on my bumper as well. I did follow everything I said I was going to do and I did not change anything during the process as you guys can see. The only thing that was hard was just having somebody holding the camera for me. I wish I had somebody helping me holding the camera. It would have made uh, my installation a lot quicker. Other than that, I had a lot of fun doing my installation and um, I had a great time uh, putting my splitter on my bumper. The splitter also gave my car a different look. My car looked very sporty. It looked very different and very unique. All I want to do right now is just take my car for a spin and show off. All I want to say now is if you know anybody out there who love cars the way I do and you feel like you like to do this type of installation on their car or if you like to do this installation on your car as well, you can go ahead and do it. Just buy the splitter online. I bought it on Amazon. You can go ahead and get it there and you can install it yourself. You can follow my method or you can follow your own method to do this installation. Again, it's really easy. It's not hard to do at all. Don't go ahead and spend your money out and have somebody else do it for you. You can do it yourself. And if you get stuck, just watch my video to get yourself back on track and you're good. Subscribe to my channel and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.